In this video, I'm just going to show you a little bit about one of the circuit simulators that I have as a link in our Blackboard course. This particular one is the Falstead.com circuit. And when you first open up the application, it, it looks kind of like this. In fact, we could have a lot of different circuits here with all kinds of different advanced systems. We're going to mostly use, or I'm going to mostly use, the blank circuit page. So I just want to show you how this works a little bit. So when you click on that blank circuit, you get a nice empty canvas here. The draw menu shows things that you can add. Now wires, I could click on that, but if I just hit a W on the keyboard, that's how I'm going to actually be creating the wires without coming up here to the menu. Similarly, a resistor can be added with R. If I wanted to add a capacitor or a switch or any of these other ones, some of them have keyboard shortcuts as well. The other keyboard shortcut I'm going to use is down here under inputs and sources. And if I grab just a regular voltage source, a battery, two terminals, positive and negative. So I'm going to be using that a lot too. So you'll see me using, um, putting these components up there without necessarily going to the menu. So if I start by hitting a V, then I can stretch out and it's going to give me a little battery symbol there. I can then hit W and if I go from the end, I can add some wires. At this point, I can hit my R and it's going to add a resistor, go back to W, and I can finish off a basic circuit. Now, it defaults so that when I get a resistor, it starts with a 1 kilo ohm resistor. I can edit how much that resistance has and put it at 437 ohms if I wanted to. Similarly, on the battery, the default is a 5 volt battery, but you can change that to, say, maybe a 1.5 volt battery. Once you've done this basic circuit, again, if you just hover over any component, it's going to give you some information about it. The VD down here in this box on the bottom, you have to forgive me, look over here, but I have to be hovering over it to show you. The VD shows you the voltage difference or the potential difference across that circuit, that part of the circuit. And then it tells you the current as well. If I go on a particular wire, it can tell me the voltage of that wire, but notice it doesn't give me a voltage difference here because that entire wire is at 1.5 volts. And then when I go over here to another component like the resistor, it can tell me the voltage difference across that one, the current through it, its resistance, and also how much power it's using. And then when I come over to this side of the circuit, it shows me that the potential is down to zero. So I was at 1.5, now I'm at zero, etc. And you can create arbitrarily complex circuits here. Now just to show you a couple of other options, when you come up here, you can show the current moving or not show the current. You can show the voltage, which is shown sort of in green. We can get rid of that and just show it as a basic circuit. Um, I could show the power, I could show values, I could show a grid. Um, if I want European style resistors or go back to the American style ones, um, I can also set it to a white background or a black background. I like the white background there. So those are some of the options you can do, and you can build up arbitrarily complex circuits and see what the currents and voltages and powers for each of those resistors are in the circuit.